In this session, we'll learn how to control Civil 3D settings at the drawing and feature level. Let me start by saying that Civil 3D can be customized to match most any workflow or CAD standard. For that reason, it gives us access to a ton of settings, many of which you may never need to change. That being said, if you would like to make some adjustments, or you're having difficulty with a particular setting, it's important to understand the hierarchy that controls how settings are applied. That is the goal of today's session. Please note that this recording represents part one of a three-part series focused on managing Civil 3D settings. On my screen, I have a drawing that contains some Civil 3D content. Let's zoom in and we'll take a look. Right here, I've got an existing ground surface called EG. Over here is an alignment representing the existing center line of Heron Creek. Over here is an alignment representing the finished grade center line of Route 72. This alignment was used to build this corridor called Route 72. And then this corridor was used to build this top surface called Route 72 Top. Now, since we're going to be talking about settings, let's start by talking about top level settings. These would be settings that affect the entire drawing. To access Civil 3D settings, I'm going to select the Settings tab here in the tool space, and then I'm going to right click on the drawing name and I'll choose Edit Drawing Settings. In the dialog box, we can see the drawing settings are organized into several tabs. For right now, I'm going to select the Ambient Settings tab. Ambient settings represent background settings that control many things like units, precision, and formatting of measurements. There are also settings in here that control the formatting used when entering values at the command line. Be sure to explore some of these when you get a chance. If I drag this up and down, you can see there are several categories here. If I click to expand each category, you can see that we have hundreds of settings available, giving us a great deal of granular control over the drawing. As an example, I'm going to open the Distance category. In here, you can see the distances will be reported in feet to three decimal spaces, they'll be rounded normal, and they'll use the negative symbol if they're negative. Notice I said reported, that's because these settings have nothing to do with labeling. Each label style provides a similar set of controls for creating text labels. These settings control the display of distances when viewed in the Inquiry tool, or tooltips, for example. Let's demonstrate that. I'll click OK to close the dialog box, and then if I zoom in, and hover close to this alignment, you can see in the tooltip we are right around station 9 plus 0, 0, with an offset distance reported as 2.813 feet. Let's see if we can change that. I'll right click on the drawing and choose Edit Drawing Settings, and then under Distance, just to make this an obvious change, we'll knock the precision down to the even foot. I'll click OK, and if I hover, I can see the offset distance is reported at an even 3 feet here in the tooltip. Since we're looking at tooltips, let's make a change to these as well. Notice this tooltip is displaying properties of the Civil 3D objects adjacent to my cursor. Maybe I'd like to hide the display of all of these tooltips regardless of the object they're reporting. Well, that would be a drawing level change. I'm going to go back to the drawing settings, and then if I expand the general category, right here is a tooltip setting. I'll change this from yes to no. I will then click OK, and if I hover now, you can see the tooltips no longer display. After making this change, I may decide that it would be helpful to only see tooltips associated with surfaces. Well, that adjustment could be made at the feature level. If I come back to the Settings tab and right-click on Surface, here I'll find Edit Feature Settings. Selecting that option gives me a similar dialog box with settings that are associated with surfaces only. In here, I'll open the General category. And if I come down to Show Tooltips, I can see it's set to No, that's the drawing setting. I'm going to change this to Yes. When I do, you can see that there's a check here in the override column, showing me that I'm overriding the drawing setting. Let's click OK, and if I hover, we can now see tooltips that are associated with surfaces only. Let's go back to the drawing settings and we'll take a look. We'll go back to Ambient Settings, General. Here I can see under Show Tooltips, the drawing setting is No. If I come down to the Child Override column, we can see an arrow. This shows us that someone at a lower level has overridden the drawing setting. This can be helpful if you're having difficulty controlling settings. If I'd like to strip all of the overrides at the lower level, I can click this arrow, and then I'll click OK. You can see that none of the tooltips display. Let's go back to the settings. Here we can see the drawing setting for tooltips. The overrides have been cleared. Notice there's also a lock column. If I lock this, I can prevent this setting from being changed at a lower level. Let's test that. I'll click OK. I'll come back and right click on Surface, and I'll choose Edit Feature Settings. From here I'll open the General category, and you can see the tooltips is grayed out. I can no longer change this. We can also see the lock, showing us that this was locked at a higher level. Let's click OK, 
Now I prefer to see the tooltips, so we'll set things back the way they were. I'll go back to Edit Drawing Settings, Ambient Settings, we'll turn the tooltips back on, and I'm going to unlock this setting. And I'll click OK. So when it comes to Civil 3D settings, there is a hierarchy that controls how they are applied. In this session, we adjusted settings at the drawing level and feature level. They can also be controlled at the command level. For example, if I expand the surface category, right here we'll find a folder called commands. If I expand this, we'll find a listing of every command associated with surfaces. If I right click on a command, from here I can choose edit command settings. This will bring up a similar dialog box, giving me granular control over the settings associated with this specific command. We'll take a closer look at feature level and command level settings in the next session. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.